Welcome back to the last billing of tonight's quarterfinals of this Manchester Open 2019. Nora El Tayeb, the current world number three, number one seed, known as the Black Widow, taking on the Ice Queen. Laura Massaro. Massaro announcing just days ago that she's uh, going to be retiring after the British Open and what a career she's had. Former world champ, British Open champ, former world number one. Set now at 35 years of age, 23 titles. Current world number 10. It's going to be a very, very tricky customer, though, in this one, playing here in Manchester. It's not going to be easy at all for Norel Tyre. Look at the consistency there of Massaro, really hitting a stride later on in her career. Hitting world number one when she was uh, in her early 30s. So impressive, impressive stuff. One of the taller ladies on the PSA World Tour. Immaculate professional. And then her opponent this evening, Nora Altaya, who was on the PSA World Tour when she was 14 years of age, traveling with her father. I remember seeing her playing her first tournament in Santiago in Spain. She's uh, only 26 years of age. Married to Ali Farag, the current world number one for the men. She's had eight titles, the biggest of her career being the US Open. Classed as a platinum event. And she's knocking on the door of those uh, amazing two Egyptian players at one and two that are taking the game to new levels. Here we've got the ritual racket spin. It's lovely for the little ones in uh, the juniors to have this experience. Vanessa. Yes, that's a big moment for a young player. Who's it going to be, Mia? Have a little picture. We'll remember for a long time. And there's the photo Mia opportunity. This racket, so a nice present for you. Thank you very much, Mia. So I took the temperature once again, and it is 25 and a half degrees. It's gone up a little bit from the last match. But it's a warm environment, which I think will help Laura Massaro, actually, Vanessa. Look at that head-to-head -head there, though, the last time they played. Yeah, 4-3 to Massaro, but uh, again, not a lot of recent meetings. The last one was uh, quarter-final of the British Open last year. That was 3-love to Massaro. And then the one before that, semi-final of the US Open, that went to Nur al way. So, uh, considering their rankings, they haven't played a huge amount in the last couple of years. But it's El Tayeb that has the form, that's for sure. Currently number three, of course. Masaro, this is her second last tournament of her career. 15 seconds. Yeah, she's going to be. <laughs> Sorry, Nessa. Well, she'll want to give a good account of herself. Oh, and she? some, and some. She's going to be a nightmare to try and beat, I, I feel. Oh, she'll be utilizing all her experience. Manchester Open 2019, quarter final match. Laura Massaro of England to serve, Noel Tayeb of Egypt to receive. Best of five games, love all. So Ralph Harenberg swapping with John Mazzarella for this last quarter final. Mazzarella, the video official. Well, both these players had uh, three love wins in their previous round. Tayeb. Uh, Three love against Polino Mar. Mar played quite brilliantly in that match. And Massaro, a bit of a schooling to Millie Tomlinson. Hand out, one love. Yeah, so they're set for a physically and mentally fresh for this. This last match of today's play. Yeah, I mean, Laura Massaro, she's still number 10 in the world maybe some people were surprised at the announcement that she is retiring but she's she's not the type of player that's happy to just compete make up the order she uh, wants to win titles and if she feels that she's not able to do that then she's not interested down no, it's understandable i think uh, one all it's been a, it's a tough old season for her this 2018-19 season and she probably made her mind up quite early on in the season but uh, waited to announce it publicly 
but it's nice that she gets to finish in uh, in the UK at the British Open. Yeah, in Hull, where she's had most of her success. Won that World Championships in Down. Malaysia, obviously, but two British Opens. 2-1. Both in Hull. Two one. Yeah, a lot of retirements are happening. Not just, not just with the squash players, Vanessa. Yes, lad. Two one. Down. Nora. Three one. for Massaro to uh, we'll close down the options for Tayeb, but also be very severe with her own attacks when she does get Ten the out. opportunity Two, to really open three. out. But if she gives Tayeb too much freedom, then uh, Tayeb is an absolute nightmare. really have players on a string at times yeah and she she doesn't uh, three all starts to strut yeah she does yeah, as you say the, the kind of peacock start side of her but uh, she doesn't let off either I mean she beat uh, Sarah Jane Perry ruthlessly 11 love in one of the games back in, uh, in Holland, in yeah. Holland. and was quite happy about it in the interview <laughs> <laughs> This is a good start, though, from Massaro. She's controlling the Tender. pace. Four, three. Holding the middle. Yeah, very good hands. <laughs> Saw it coming, the one down the middle, and she... Hand out. Four. Made sure that she was uh, going to adjust her racket. Yes, lad. Four all. Good squash, very good squash. Five, four. It's interesting if it was the other way around and we were playing in, you know, they were playing in Cairo, the crowd would just be going absolutely bonkers <laughs> for Nora Al Tayeb. But uh, they're pretty neutral here in Manchester. Yeah, they're always a very sort of fair so, okay, crowd. Yeah. Very fair. Which is not always what the English players want. Six four. It's okay to be slightly one sided. Give that extra bit From of home advantage. Seven four. Shot. Well, tactically, Massaro has been pretty sound Five, in this seven. first game. She's keeping the ball really straight. 
but Taya also showing a lot of patience. She does like to play that very open squash. And sometimes if you can frustrate her and not give her those options, she can start to push things, but she's looking very focused as well, or Taya. Stroke to Taya. So the stroke being given, standing over the ball. Hand out, eight, five. Nine, five. Down. And out. Six, nine. Two extremes from Lauren Masara, Vanessa, the power and then the touch. Seven, nine. Yeah, still two points down, but she's been, uh, she's been very impressive in this first game, Masara. Oh, oh, that was such a good chance. It was. She the gap. And out. Black Widow had gone Ten, for the seven. cross courts. Game ball. We watch here the initial one. There we go. <laughs> Out. Eleven seven. So the ice cream. Tayet. Tayet leads one game. It's one game to love. Love all. Yes, lad. Love all. Down. Hand out, one love. Haven't been
been too many uh, traffic issues so far between these two. We saw a lot of decisions in Masaro's match yesterday against Tomlinson. But the, uh, the accuracy has been very high for both players. So careful, Gora Masaro, because she will strike. One all. She's roaring at every shot she wins. She's uh, hugely, hugely up for it. Yeah, she's been right up for this from the start. Two one. She knows how big this is for Masaro, who's played a lot here in Manchester, had a lot of success here as well. Stroke to Massaro. If this is Massaro's last match in this all. Manchester court, she's going to make sure it's a good one. <laughs> Three, two. Have a shot. Support Altaya flat footed. 4 2. Yeah, she needs to try and break away in this second. Sara, build her confidence. Starts to create a few doubts in the mind of Nora Altaya, who. Oh. What can you do? Well, anything that's Hello. not Three, pretty much glued four. to the sidewall presents an angle. She, she's got options. I mean, she's played nearly. Six different attacks in this game alone. Again, wasn't much wrong with Masaro's drive, just a oh. touch short, maybe. And there's the punishment, very severe. Well, the, uh, we've heard a lot of outward Five, four. emotions from the Black Widow, but the Ice Queen has got a very distinctive scream. the dive. She's up again. It's good pressure here from Masaro. <laughs> Stroke to Masaro. <laughs> you can. So <laughs> she's not Six, like she's four. laughing like the Joker out of <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Real character. So dangerous. Hand out. Five, six. Masaro has to keep that discipline, which she has done for the most part. The shot in's not good enough. Six all. You're in trouble. She's on this one in a flash. And there's the adaptability.
Yeah, it was fed onto a racket, really. Seven. Again, six. you can hear this. It's, it is, as we talked about the crowd when you come to the UK, it's a lot of appreciation for the opponents. Very, very neutral in that way. So, tired of getting a lot of support here. Seven all. Yes, let. Player review, Tayeb, on the yes, let decision. First review of the match. I think this could be given as a stroke. First look at it. Yeah, I mean, she didn't really make a meal of it, which you do often see players do in these situations. But she can't hit that. Quick decision from the video referee. Quick overrule. Stroke to Tayeb. Decision overruled. Tayeb has one review remaining. Eight, seven. Stroke to Tayeb. Player review. Masaro on the stroke decision. Well, Masaro feeling that there was enough space here. Close. Yeah, again, I just don't think she can quite play that. Just a little bit more room than the previous one. Yeah, there is a bit more room. It's good overall. Yes, let decision overall. Good overall. Masaro has won the review remaining. Well, certainly Eight, a good seven. use of the review by Masaro. Something she is very good at. She's got the pinpoint Ten accuracy out. that she needs to try and maintain. Eight, all. Best I've seen Masaro play for a while this, so far in this match. It's a shame. We're too Ten used out. to seeing the winners in the, in the front Nine, of the court eight. for the Black Widow. Composure there, Game calmly ball. played into the space. Knew it didn't need to be ridiculously low. Oh. 
Hand out. 9-10, game ball. Oh, that was uh, just what the doctor ordered. Perfection from Masara. She's been really good on that backhand side. She's hit quite a few winners there. the opportunity and she does doesn't get it on the dive laying it into the side wall so game ball here for the ice queen 10. game ball From El Tayeb, getting her out of trouble there. Hand out. That would have been a winner on the backhand all. side against a lot of players. Uh, and the hold, just uh, stopping Masara's movement. Two and a couple of seconds 11. as well. Game ball. Talking about 30 seconds, and it's completely changed. Got the reverse. Game ball for a two love lead for the number one seed. Gone for the dive and she's produced a great lob and recovered. Yes, let. <laughs> no, it was normal traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair enough. It's, it's correct from from my uh, my opinion. 12, 11, game ball. And the backhand has been so clinical. Hand out. 12 all. Great rally, very good squash in that rally. Yeah. Some hard movements. 13, Tough movement, that last one. Into that forehand drop. Second game ball opportunity for the Black Widow. <laughs> this is the stubbornness of Masaro. Seen it so many times before. So hard nosed plays these massive points hugely well. Yeah, she's incredible under pressure. Down. Oh. And down. Time just saying lucky. Game ball. It's quite a risky shot she played. Again, Masara just not looking comfortable in that movement. Into the front forehand. It's 
Stroke to Massaro. Yeah, good decision. And out, 14 all. You put the ball there, you have to clear. to tie it. Yeah, but you're not clear to the front wall. Well, obviously. Yeah, the T position well, is not clearing. Green, Sorry. See how narrow that cross court was. Hand out, 15-14, game ball. Brilliant response all. that straight away. I mean, uh, for a moment, I thought she'd turn Ralph Harenberg to stone. <laughs> stroke to Masaro. Player review Tayeb on the stroke decision. Well, <laughs> yeah, had stroke to be a to stroke. Masaro, decision upheld. Tayeb Poor has shot, no it popped out. 16 15, game ball. Epic second game. Epic. I mean, we're going back to the original score at the 15 American. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's done it. Perseverance from the Ice King, Ice Queen. Nearly called her the Ice Cream there. Terrific second game, and that's the epitome of Laura Massaro. She's made a career of converting massive opportunities and points. 18 minutes in duration, 29 minutes is level. She's now one game apiece with the current world number three. does thrive in these situations. She enjoys it, the battle, the heat of the battle. And uh, she played some absolutely superb squash in that second game. The, uh, the backhand was prolific. She kept the ball running really tight. When she had an opportunity, she was extremely clinical. There was a lot of winners on that backhand side. The movement onto the forefront forehand wasn't looking great, but she wasn't allowing Tayeb to open up and create opportunities. The intensity from both players is great to see. Tayeb knows how much this means to Masaro. She was ready for a fight. She's acknowledged it and she's matching it with her own intensity. It was a must win game, I feel, for Masaro. And she did it, so one all, game on. Game on, exactly. There's uh, Danny, he's working with a few of the Egyptian players now, notably uh, Hani Ibrahim and also Marwan El Shabagi. Play will resume in 30 Sports seconds. Sports psychologist and uh, squash coach. So she's back on. Well, if his wife has anything to go by, he knows what he's doing. She is mentally as tough as they get. One game all, Masara to serve. Love all.
every shot, hitting its mark from Massaro. One love. Can she sustain this quality? We haven't seen this from her in a while. Down. It's a big question. It's a big ask. And out. One all. Big ask. It's not just obviously the, the mental side, it's the physical side and the tempo. I'm sure we'll see a bit more pace at times for Norel Tyre. Looking to try and rush. To one. Count. For Laura. Three one. Didn't actually hit the nick, but it was no less effective Four. for it. Yes, led. Yeah, there was room. No, I don't want to submit exactly. Except our review. I'm accepting, I'm just, I thought you wanted to submit me, I know let right. For one. Just slightly looser from Masaro, and it's allowing Altaya to step up and attack. Yeah, that's the problem. The uh, angles Hello. start presenting, the confidence is building, and she's happy to take it Six one. into the front very quickly. Yeah, and the movements are very difficult for Masaro. She's been done very well to protect her movement in the last two games. 7-1. You can never write her off, though. I mean, this, uh, when her back's against the wall, that's when she's at her most dangerous, the ice cream queen. called in uh, the line the witch in the wardrobe the white witch <laughs> oh, is it the white witch that stare and out. yeah oh that's what I mean well she eight two that's what I mean turn people to stone I mean Medusa also originally Laura Massaro wanted to be called Medusa yes led she's got that uh, that stately figure though that stately kind of eight two Straight backed and queen like. Not up. Hand out. Approach with what she's achieved as well. Three, eight. Maybe she'll be bringing out her own clothing line like Nick Matthew has done. <laughs> Wolf clothing. Won't be, uh, we'll be using obviously artificial out. Nine, wolf three. fur. Won't be real wolf fur. Should have trademarked it. <laughs> I'm sure Nick would have found a way around it.
video referee, please, can you have a look on the pickup from Mr. Yep, right hand side? I'm not sure why Masaro didn't just play this. Oh, she is actually a lot more in a way than I thought. Yeah, I mean, she ball was good. That. Ball was fine. The pickup was fine. Yeah. You should. Your pickup was good. You stopped the rally for nothing. Okay, I, I missed that. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, I missed that. I missed that. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Uh, sorry, I missed that. Yes, lad. There's nothing to do with the pickup. Why, why, why would this not be a stroke? I don't, I don't know. Why would this not be a stroke? This is a stroke. Nine for me. three. I mean, how is she? <laughs> yes, I give a lad. Nine three. Yeah. Sorry, that's too late. That's too late. I've pushed the button. I can't go back to, oh, to the review. He's actually caused the confusion. I pushed the so button. He's going to have to allow the review, the review here. It's too late. Sorry. We need to save the day here a little you bit. You must accept. It needs to be a that review. too late. There needs to be a review. So the explanation, Miss Masaru, the explanation is given. Please play on. Well, she's, she's right, but she has to be careful here because if she keeps arguing, he will use code of conduct. The thing is, though, it's... Um, anyway, I mean, it, yeah, she wanted to review it originally. It wasn't to do with the pickup. Very quick. Oh, that is beautiful. It's a great shot. Terrific. Fully stretched out. And now, again for me, mine. this is an example of the mental strength, uh, Vanessa, of, of Laura Massaro, because with all that confusion and what's going on and how she was hard done by, she's immediately got back and won the rally. Oh, the recovery from, you know, a, a poor shot or a decision she doesn't agree with, that is that really is her strength. Stroke the ability player. to regain composure quickly. Player review, Massaro on the stroke decision. And she remains very clear in her thinking as well. So it is upheld. Stroke, yeah, decision upheld. Masara has no reviews remaining. 10 4, game ball. Six game balls for the Black Widow for a 2 1 lead in this last quarter final. Oh, that was a bit special. 11 -4. Very special. Game Half volley, to top spin, Kayette cross court. Two games to one. So, some real top quality squash as you'd expect from the former world champ and world number one and current world number three. 40 minutes so far, and it's Tayev that has it. Two games to one. Well, Noral Tayev takes a 2-1 lead, but Laura Massaro is still playing extremely well. Got off to a bad start in that game, was unable to sustain the intensity after taking that second, that really long second. But uh, she sort of recovered some momentum towards the end of the third. And uh, hopefully she'll be able to push on again in this fourth because it's been a really entertaining match between these two. Both so up for this. And uh, I think the crowd would be happy to see a lot more. But it is Noral Tayeb that takes a 2-1 lead in this final match of the evening. You made the very most important point for me, Vanessa, is the, the 
construction of the quality of, of Laura Massaro trying to protect her movement, and, it, and it's not Play criticism of her movement. Yeah. She's 35 years of age, and she's been seconds. working tremendously hard to try and keep that extra bit of speed. And when you've got these younger Egyptian ladies that are making the game faster and faster, I mean, uh, wh wh where's the where's the ladies' game going to go? I mean, it's you know, it's, it's, <laughs> the sky's the limit. But the protection of the movement is is where she needs to be at, and it, it you know this is going to be the challenge. Yeah, I mean it was it was always something that she uh, she struggled with and worked very very hard on to improve her movement and got to a stage where she was moving very Kayak well. leads two games to one. They get to serve. Love all. But I think she'd be uh, the first to admit that she isn't moving as well as she was a couple of years ago but she is able to play so cleverly that it's difficult for players Wonder. or opponents to exploit that. And that's what she's been doing so far in this match. Video referee, please, uh, can you check the pickup from Trayep on the right hand side in the middle of the rally? I mean, it didn't look like a double. It didn't look like a double, it looked way up, but. And I think it, it was. Relatively clean on the, on the three racket. Yes, lad. On Laura, push. <laughs> She's three one. Very tempted to review. Doesn't want to use it early on in the game, though. Good. Five one. She needs to be continually on it here. Nor El Taib. She knows fully well that though. You can tell with the intensity that she literally has to be shaking the hand of Laura Massaro to confirm the win. Yeah, it's just a, it was just a slightly loose patch from uh, Massaro. Oh. And Taib was able to get quick winners in. And that's what it takes. Two, five. No left. No left. Three five. Hand out. Important Six, point that one. Three. For 
the tie-up uh, campaign. on the volley, the head nod, keeping sprightly, Seven, keeping three. in front of Massaro. And out, 4-7. Yes, let. She wants a Player strike. review. Masaru worth a review. Yes, let decision. Yeah, it was a poor shot from Tayeb. Popped right out. Yeah, that will be for me. That's a stroke. Decision upheld, Masara has no reviews remaining. 8 4. Closing in on the win now. There will be no complacency though from the Egyptian. No, they won't. And that's no. why. See Five, the effort made. Nine. Just going around like she's the one that's actually trying to save the situation. Four point lead. Never a cushion against Masaro. into that shot. Six, nine. So clever, clever work there by Tyre, putting the ball in nice and tight, working. Yeah, it's a straight day long. And out, 10-6, match ball. Have I got a review? No. Four match balls here for the Black Widow, Norel Tyre, the number one seat. And she's done it. 11-6. Been a battle though, it was over 50 minutes. Tyab having to work very, very hard. You could tell she was also mentally quite stressed. 
So relief for Tayeb, a terrific performance there by Laura Asaro, the 35-year-old. She's got one more tournament left, the British Open, 51 minutes. Some world-class, world-class squash, 3-1 victory. So we're going to hear from Tayeb and, and Jenny Duncalf very, very shortly. And I think we'll also hear from the Ice Queen. Thanks, Laura, for coming back to talk to us. Obviously, it's your last match in Manchester. I think you gave a really good account of yourself up against the world number three. Yeah. Um... Disappointed with probably just a few patches of it, really, but Noah's ranked three in the world for a reason, and she puts you under a lot of pressure. I, I felt like I was doing quite a good job of keeping the court closed down, but, you know, a little bit of angle off the side wall or a loose ball, and you get punished, and it's, uh, yeah, obviously, the ball comes back a lot of times, and it's hard to keep your concentration for the whole time, but, yeah, I did, I did all right. <laughs> I'm very happy with my last performance and uh, on this court anyway and wish I could have done a bit better and come back tomorrow but overall pretty happy. We certainly saw some vintage Masaro grit in that second game saving all those game balls. You've played so many times on so many different occasions in Manchester in front of your home crowd. I know it's hard to think right now but are there any particular memories or highlights that stand out for you in Manchester? Um, it's probably the probably the national championships has been the home of the national championships for so many years and um, I grew up watching that event and watching all the generation before me come th come through it and we had some battles on this court and battled out for a few national titles and um, all of the English girls and it means so much to win a national title and because uh, with so much history I think on this court and um, probably the proudest Manchester moment is winning my four national titles here. Not a bad record. And moving on, you've still got the British Open today, uh, sorry, to go. You played well yesterday, today. Has that given you some confidence going into Hull? Yeah, um, you know, I played well um, in PSL on Tuesday. Pontefract made the final, so super happy with that. I get to play one more professional match um, after the British Open now, so happy with that. Um, and... Yeah, yesterday um, and today even, you know, being able to fight that hard with the world number three, that was my only goal, really. When I announced my retirement, it wasn't to just have a couple of events sort of procession and just, you know, say I'm, d I'm done. It was to fight hard and do as well as I can and try and put a few blows into the top five in the world. Didn't quite manage to get the win today, but I think she knew she was on court, so that's the main thing, and um, we're looking to try and do the same thing at the British Open. Well, all the best at the British Open. Well played tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Massaro. <laughs> and your winner of tonight's match, Laura Tayeb. Congratulations. Laura's obviously come to the end of her career. You're in the thick of yours, happy to get through tonight. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I was actually very happy to be playing Laura. Uh, I wanted to give her something to remember me by, maybe because it's the last two tournaments of her career. I look up to her in so many ways. Uh, uh, I would obviously love to work with her maybe one day after she's retired. Um, she's. <laughs> She's uh, the most professional on tour. I can go on forever, you know, about talking about Laura. I can, I wish I can have half her career. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with my performance. As you can see, Laura's retiring, but she's still uh, fighting. She's not as sharp as she used to. I'm sorry if she doesn't like that, but she's, I, I, she, she used to be sharper and I, and I, I, I can tell. Uh, but I'm very, 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 very happy with my performance today and I'm, I'm very happy to be playing tomorrow. And the match itself, monster second game, 18 minutes long. Perhaps you thought maybe Laura might push on from that and take the momentum, but you stepped up your game in the third. 
yeah, I want to step, uh, step it up in the third, maybe thinking or hoping Laura might be a bit tired from the second game like I was. Uh, luckily, I, I started well so in the third, so this gave, gave me a lot of confidence going into the, the business end of the third and the fourth game. But overall, I think it's tough. I feel like every point I win, is, I, I fight very hard to win every point, and this is what Laura makes everyone feel like, and I hope one day I can be like her, you know. It's like uh, your opponent has to fight very hard to win the point, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm, uh, I'm very lucky to, be, to have played with her here, and hopefully she can uh, do well at the British Open because we're not playing in the British Open, so hopefully she can do well. <laughs> very kind words. You are a fighter on court. Just one quick question. I'm pretty sure you hurt your shoulder seriously from diving around the court a few years ago, but you continue to do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's the temptation. It's I can't see the ball, and if my leg is not as quick, I just I just want to get it anyway. Anyhow, yeah, I injured my shoulder. It took me seven, eight months off the tour, but uh, I hope it doesn't come again. But I'm, I don't think I'll ever stop diving. It's, it's it's who I am, I guess. Well, we love it. Keep that up. It's great for the crowd. Moving on to the semi-finals, Nora El Tayeb. <laughs> interviews and Nora Tayeb just acknowledging the respect that she has for Laura Massaro and she was fully aware that Massaro was going to put a good performance on that she was going to leave absolutely everything on the court today and that's exactly what Massaro did but it was acknowledged it was recognized by El Tayeb and she uh, she was able to match it with her own quality and uh, that is that is how good Nora El Tayeb is that is why she's the number three in the world she's uh, continually improving her game she was able to find a way through Masaro, who was very good at containing El Tayeb at times. She realized she had the edge physically and she was able to take the advantage in the end. So a 3-1 win for El Tayeb, but a superb performance from Masaro. Well, an epic quarterfinals, some very high class uh, squash being performed. It was quick fire really at the first part with Amanda Sobi stealing and a brilliant win over Naronga Haas showing great form there for the Southpaw. Joel King had to fight off Alison Walters but managed to do it in three. Tesney Evans, the match of the day with Sarah Jane Perry all the way to a uh, nail-biting tie-break in the fifth for Evans. And then Nural Taib making sure that she was able to hold on to her seeding against a very determined Laura Massaro with a 3-1 victory there. So the semi-finals of this Manchester Open coming up for you tomorrow. We'll be kicking off at 4.30 local time here in Manchester. Amanda Sobey, the number eight seed, will take on Joel King, the number two seed. And then we'll have the follow-on, Norel Tyab, the number one seed, up against Tesney Evans, the number six seed. So it's been a fantastic day. We're going to say good night from the National Squash Centre even. We'll see you tomorrow. Join us again tomorrow.
Cheers, guys. See you in the morning. Thank you. 